atop Mount Krakatau. In May 1883, Dutch sailors patrolling the Sunda Strait were the first to notice something strange. As their ship passed between Sumatra and Java, they saw a dark column rising from Krakatau, a quiet island volcano long believed to be dormant. At first it seemed like a pillar of storm clouds, but the smell betrayed its sulfur ash and burning earth. Lightning crackled within the column, though no thunder followed. The sailors whispered that it looked like a tree of fire growing from the sea. On the coasts of Banten and Lampung, fishermen reported nights as bright as day. A red glow burned on the horizon and the sea shimmered with floating embers. Children woke screaming, saying they heard voices calling their names from the direction of the mountain. Animals grew restless, dogs refused to stop barking and water buffaloes stampeded without cause. Elders remembered old warnings. When Krakatau awakens, the gods demand a price. By June, black ash rained over the villages. Crops withered under the suffocating dust. The sky turned dim even at noon. Some villagers believed the end of the world had come, for the sun itself seemed swallowed. Merchants sailing from Batavia, now Jakarta, wrote in their logs of a strange silence on the sea. Birds had vanished. Fish were nowhere to be found. Only the mountain roared in the distance louder each week. On August 26, 27, 1883, Krakatau revealed its true fury. A deafening explosion split the air, heard as far as Australia and Madagascar. Shockwaves circled the globe. Those who saw it first described the sky ripping apart. Three towering columns of fire rose into the heavens, merging into one monstrous cloud. The sea boiled, and a tsunami taller than coconut trees raced toward the shores. In Anyer, villagers who ran to the beach froze in horror. Instead of the sea retreating peacefully, it screamed. The sound of rushing water filled with a thousand voices. Moments later, walls of black water erased the land. When the smoke cleared, two-thirds of Krakatau was gone. Entire coastlines had vanished. At least 36,000 lives were lost. The eruption was so powerful that sunsets across the world turned blood red for months, and temperatures dropped across the globe. But among the survivors, stories were told of more than just nature's power. Figures of fire walking in the ash clouds. Hands rising from the sea, pulling the living into the waves. Voices in the night, whispering from the drowned lands where villages once stood. Krakatau's eruption was not just a discovery of geological terror. It was, to many, the moment they realized the Earth itself can harbor ancient spirits too vast and merciless to comprehend.